No one should be reinventing the wheel, especially the researchers and students in robotics. They can save a lot of their time for building higher level algorithms by using simulation and not building robot from scratch. Because there are a lot of problems that one face building a robot, especially in the DIY space. So I will be discussing three cases in this video from which you can make a decision that do you need to build a robot from scratch or you can utilize a simulation. Case number one is about straight driving. You can see this robot is not moving in a straight line, although I just have plugged the electronic components and gave the command to move the motors in a straight line. And as the distance is increasing, it is deviating from the straight line. On the other side, if we take a look in simulation, I just press the forward button and it is moving in exactly the straight line. There is no problem of deviation and things are working perfectly fine. For this kind of problem, the robot not moving in a straight line, there can be many reasons. The first one can be irregular train the place where it is moving, unevil weight distribution on the sides of the robot. Even if you are in using encoders, wheel slipping problem causes a lot of issues. So if your algorithm is not based on something that requires localization, you should not be building a robot from scratch because this localization problem has to be solved for every robot that you create. For all autonomy behaviors of the robot you develop, you need an environment information that is usually represented with maps, even 2D or 3D maps based on the sensors that you get. Let's say we need to produce a 2D map of the indoor environment and make the robot perform an autonomy behavior like sort of an office robot. But we have to keep in mind that LiDAR also requires a good microcontroller to be processing the LiDAR scans data and updating in software architect that you have built to keep it in real time. Scan, not make the robot collide and other things while doing the localization in SLAM as well. But in the simulation of especially ROS2 Nav2 stack, everything is just plug and play. Define the controller, define the cost maps, define the odometry and everything is right out of the bag working fine. Which can then be translated into a real robot once the algorithm that you want to build upon the SLAM is ready. For such autonomy behavior testing and development, there is a lot of advantage of using a simulation. The first one is you can give multiple environments in one second. You can put your robot in multiple environments, a warehouse, a hospital or a shop and test your autonomy behaviors within the simulation in just multiple clicks. But in real world, you have to bring your robot to different locations. Although there are differences in real world and a simulation regarding especially the lightings and the data receiving speeds and processing. For the case number three, we have affordability as a problem for building self-driving cars. As a researcher, you cannot buy a complete self-driving car with 3D LiDARs, 3D depth cameras and every 3D sensor because they are quite expensive. So we have similar to machine learning, we have data sets for robotics that I will explain in a different video. The most popular one for self-driving is Kitty dataset, which contains 3D LiDAR scan four cameras information from front left back right then gps and imu on the car a lot of people have built tracking segmentation and mapping for self-driving cars using this kt data set in their researches github repositories of the projects and researches are also available for kt data set and one important thing that we get with kitty data set is the calibration of the sensors all the files and details are provided you can easily calibrate your things and start working upon them and believe me this saves a lot of time if you have a project or a research that you have to do 3d lidars data main conclusion is if you want to build an algorithm of segmentation or path planning and you don't want to get into the localization of the robot first then obviously simulation is your solution but most of the companies and most professional people the main workflow is to first simulate your idea understand the feasibility if that is feasible then you move towards building the robot and spending some cash directly on to buying the things of a robot and in advanced researches of self-driving especially kitty data sets saves a lot of your effort and time getting the data and you can directly building self-driving solutions right out of the bat.